overhanging margins and well shows mucosal erosion so right now what are you thinking of tell me and now there's 12 of us dr vijay actually tell me tell me tell me my favorite students there talk to me 13 of us <laughs> so i'll stop counting now what are you th thinking of when someone presents with pain the imaging shows a nice overhanging margin type of lesion with mucosal erosion tell me thinusha probably an ulcer absolutely huh? and of course an ulcer that would be located where stomach or duodenum what would you say based on the frequency and pattern of the pain what would you think probably an ulcer To Adenum, actually, let's see Hagar. Stomach, I'm going to go with Hagar Tenusha. You know why? Because this individual, just the thought of eating gives enough pain. That individual has started losing weight because of that. They're scared of eating. And when they eat, it's absolutely not relieved by food intake. Remember, when you have a duodenal ulcer, generally eating food, is going to stop the pain as you close the pyloric sphincter no more pain and it's like two three hours after a meal that maybe you go to bed and now you wake up because you have the pain is that okay finusha so more likely a stomach type of issue huh? ah good 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 so agar since you were telling me stomach uh give me a blood group that is more likely we'll put it in the stem to remember Hey, Aga, Naili, perfect. Are you going to put group A also? Because if that's what you were saying, maybe you can type for me what would have been for duodenal also. It's easy to remember. A for gastric. And classically, blood group O for duodenal. So, you know, uh, diagnosis is a gastric also and brought on by stress. So uh, let's see, how can you get the gastric also brought on by stress? Well, that's pretty straightforward. You have high CRF, high ACTH, high cortisol, and cortisol causes, of course, thinning of muscle protein, as it increases gluconeogenesis so that you are more likely to have the ulceration plus of course just like all steroids what does it do to things like prostaglandins leukotrienes too but it decreases prostaglandin synthesis so with this, there's no more protection, thinning of the tissue because of using the amino acids as substrates for gluconeogenesis. You are much more likely, thanks to stress, to develop some ulcers. When you have an acute stress, what do we call the type of ulcers that we get that are due to stress? Maybe in a hospitalized patient, like in an emergency room patient. We have the ones with burns that we call curling ulcers. Oh, I'm not thinking after ulcers on the, on the lip. I'm thinking literally a peptic ulcer disease. Stress ulcers. Yeah, stress ulcers. Hey, if you want a, hey, otherwise they're called Cushing type of ulcers. 
and curling in burn patient, Cushing in uh, actual trauma patient. Well done, Sharon. So anyway, with that story, now that we have all this ready, uh, and I'm going to say the patient has blood group A. Uh, there you go. So we have everything we talked about. Now, let me make you a question. Now that we know what we're talking about, I would like you to find me a drug in a set of answers. And I'm going to ask you, which of the following drugs since one of your requests are drugs for peptic ulcer disease, acts most rapidly and most rapidly at decreasing proton production to decrease the erosion while managing, well, what the patient is complaining of, which is the pain at the same time. So I would like a drug that would do that fairly rapidly. And I'm going to give you five drugs. I'm going to put them all on the same page. I'm going to give you Motidine. I'm going to give you Omeprazole. So I'm going to give you big names huh, that we need to know well. I'm going to give you Sodium Bicarb. And I'm going to also give you some bismuth subsalicylate together with some metronidazole and tetracycline. And then I'm going to give you the E misoprostol. Yeah, your turn. So, famotidine, omeprazole, sodium bicarbonate, bismuth, metronidazole, tetracycline, the BMT regimen, 